All right, week three of our home for the holidays, Christmas here in the historic McKinney downtown area. And we're gonna go out and have some fun. And this is my wife Heather again. Uh, week three, let's do this. Dfw.net. You know, I don't know if I should say all right guys or just like ladies and gentlemen. How are y'all doing today? All right, this is Ricardo Junk Guys Dfw.net, and today I'm only going to do about three or four jobs on the schedule. It is oh this guy doesn't see me. Wow. It is the ninth. I think it's Wednesday the ninth or the eighth. Somewhere like a five, six, seven. Okay, it's Wednesday the eighth. Yeah, that's what I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let me double check that. Okay, I want to double check that one. Wednesday the eighth. Yeah, it's Wednesday the eighth, December Wednesday the eighth. And what I'm doing today, I'm going to actually do about three or four refrigerator removals. Okay. And I'm about to arrive to the first one. The just called the customer. He wasn't here. He left the money inside the fridge. And I'm going to pull up to his house in a few minutes, and you're going to see me do the first job of the day. Okay. Whew. Um, all right, this is the first job. I'll load this fridge really fast. It was outside, it was waiting for me. Nobody's here. And I'm done. Okay. So, so the owner, I called him and told him I'm outside of house. And he said, oh, the money's inside the fridge and it's outside on the driveway. And literally, I pulled up, it was outside the driveway. Look at this, look at this neighborhood. Holy cow, every one of these houses is humongous, but uh, easy fridge removal. I'm out of here, man. All right, that's the first job of the day. And I'm gonna go to the next one, which is another fridge. I'll knock that one out quick. These are gonna be really easy. What's <laughs> in the park area? Uh, I can't make this stuff up. I just can't make the stuff up. So last night, somebody dropped a fridge sitting, and was sitting right here. I guess it was right here. All I did was pull up and back and the guy just drove off. The city guy, I mean, this happened so, so fast. He had $45, gave it to him in my hand and then drove off. Literally, he gave me 45 bucks, didn't even see me load it and just drove off just now. And it was, I mean, there's the fridge. I just loaded it. What, what, you know what? It doesn't matter, I guess. That was the weirdest thing. So apparently, you know, the guy didn't tell me nothing. He just said, here we go. Are you the, he, he, you know, he reached out to me. He said, are you the junk guy? And I'm like, yes, sir. He goes, well, here's the fridge. Here's the money. Thank you. And drove off. <laughs> I was like, okay, so I loaded and I'm out of here. <sighs> okay. So it's 45 bucks, 45 bucks. The drive that I took here was 20 minutes to this place because it's on the way to Dallas. And the drive from the first job to the second job has took longer than both jobs did combined. I'm gonna go to another job and we'll go from there. All right, uh, and I have an estimate. I'll let's look at that. Okay, bye bye. Third job. Double door fridge, which I consider the worst of all fridges. They're hard. They're heavy. They suck balls to pick up. So what I'm gonna do is lift this fridge, the one I have in here. So I can put this one in there. It sucks. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna honestly take my time doing this. I'm gonna take the doors out and everything. I might even take the doors off. I don't really want to, but just to make it lighter so I can get it up there faster. That didn't beat my back belt. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I gotta do it. All right, so uh, this is my third one. Um, I'll set the video back up when I load it, okay? It was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I didn't really struggle to get it up. I just uh, just really pushed it up. It just went up there really fast. Ugh, I'm going to pick up this trash right here. 
I still fell out of my truck. All right, we're going to an estimate in Dallas. Let's finish this job really quick. Heading out. All right, see you in a few minutes, guys. Another 45 bucks made today. Okay, so I arrive at the last job and it's actually an estimation. I didn't really know what I was getting into, but I show up, this guy meets me there, and it's a warehouse. No, let me tell you what what's inside this warehouse. It's actually a lot of furniture. It's a furniture from a restoration company. You call these guys out when they were, there's a fire, a pipe burst, or a snowstorm, or a rainstorm that just messes up your whole apartment, or your house, or your condo, or your business. This, These guys do the job. Now, they can only remove and throw away your trash only when the insurance company pays them. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna empty out some percentage of his warehouse and it shouldn't take me that long. Now, the weird thing about it is just, I just saw a lot of old furniture here. I started noticing and looking around, look at these brown couches and blue couch right next to it. It's like awful. Everything was ugly in here. There's nothing really I can say, but I did notice something in the warehouse. I noticed some good furniture in the back and I told him, you know what, look, dude, I'll give you a deal. Let me take all this other furniture you've been, pay you've been paid by through the insurance company, and I will keep this, and then I'll only charge you $400, $400 to remove all this trash, and he was like, you know what, you got a deal. So we worked out a deal. I'm gonna get a lot of furniture, he's gonna pay me $400 to remove this trash, and I'm only gonna take 75% a trailer that's 75% empty, okay? So there we go. All right guys, so there it is. Uh, that was the fourth job of the day, it was just an estimation. Nothing very uh, difficult at all. It's just big stuff, it's furniture. I mean, I can load in 30 minutes, I'll be out of the charge, I got 400 bucks and I'm done. I could do it today, but I'm kinda like, just wanna get to the warehouse, you know what I mean? And coast the rest of the day, to be honest, with you. that's what I really wanna do. Anyway, I just wanna let y'all know that. I think I'm gonna end this video just with the fact, saying that, um, you know, most of these jobs, if you notice, the owners weren't even home. So, nobody was home in any of the jobs that I went to, and I got paid on all of them, so that was pretty easy. A customer doesn't really need to be home so you can get paid for the job. Uh, there are many ways to get payments, such as Venmo, Zelle, Cash App, PayPal, all that stuff, so, you know, use that as an advantage to your business. That way you can go and be more efficient, faster, getting jobs done, and uh, a lot quicker, okay? Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let y'all go. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Bye-bye.